Chief Executive of Aleph Zaaba. Who is Aleph Zaaba? Aleph Zaaba is a uh, father's uh, right group in Israel. It's big, yeah. For uh, equal rights, uh, equal gender rights. Uh, we have about uh, 10,000 times uh, even uh, more people in our Facebook group. We have at least thousand people that are uh, willing to do things and uh, work for it. We're now leading uh, two new laws in Israel. One of them is uh, in regards to um, children's rights and uh, for both parents and um, getting rid of the tender years uh, uh, assumption that there is here in Israel. We want both children, children to have both parents. Another law has to do with alimony, which means uh, it's been, by the way, today put in the Knesset, in the Israeli parliament. To get it and, equalized. Um, we want it also to be treated equally. The second law really says you have to see how much both parents can earn and how many days the children are in between the houses. And Israel, don't forget, it's a very small country, so it's not a big problem. And by that, you split the... Uh, the costs of, of the kids. Uh, Are you by the way, in Israel now only uh, the father pays for the kids, and the kids like belong to the mother. So these are very uh, the kids belong to the mother in terms of custody, but they're bought and paid for a hundred percent by the dad. Yeah. So so this is kind of a change of uh, of uh, thinking. We're doing this with a good friend of mine, uh, Yoav Kish, and another good friend of mine, Gila Gamliel. Okay. And uh, I think I think that we're working on it. Um, the media is talking about it. We're making the right uh, noise. It's we're making a lot of uh, effort on it, and the wheels are beginning to turn. I'm not sure if we're going to get everything we want, but the wheels are beginning to turn. Once the they begin to turn, they they won't stop turning until there will be equal rights for. Uh, both uh, parents uh, in Israel. We're talking about deadbeat dads who run away from child support, can't be bothered, don't want to pay responsibility, aren't we? I mean, this is what people this think is, of divorced fathers. By, by the way, uh, <laughs> the law does not support a father, does not support his kids. So, so that's not going to... If somebody um, won't support his kid, he, he won't take his kid... Uh, for example, if we take the, the issue of alimony, then we don't have to go to court in order to, to see how much you have to pay. You have how many days the kids are in your house, how many kids are in the mother's house. The whole process should take three weeks. Okay? So, if a father decides that he won't see his children, then within three weeks he's going to have to pay the entire sum of the alimony for, for these children. If a, if a child is 50% with the father, 50% with the mother, then they both have to hold 50% of the, the costs and everything is okay. But we know that that's not happening in a lot of cases, that when uh, the father's maybe got the children for two or three days a week, he's still paying full mezzanot to the mother. Now, now you pay full mezzanot, but that's not going to be the case. Right. We're going to see how many days the children are Ah, in this and, is and your plan. Many. Right. This, this, is, this, is, is the, the this is the law that's just been put up this by... This is the vision. Uh, uh, it's Similar not the vision. to Britain. We're actually putting in the law. You know, okay. Do you, <laughs> you think this law will pass? Uh, we be I believe that the law will pass. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be difficult, but as I said, the wheels have started to turn. We just we had this custody uh, law and children's right law that did not pass about two weeks ago, mm -hmm. and that was very disappointing. We had just one. We need one more vote to, to go through. One vote. Uh, the but women were really jumping and passing. The women were jumping, but that was good for us. I mean, yeah. now everybody understands that the issue is caring for the children and what they care for is just just gender war and we're not in a gender war we want everybody to have his own rights you know the, the, the mother the father and uh, the situation is changing it takes a time as I said it's like in uh, uh, America they used to have African Americans looked as the slaves and people wanted to have uh, freedom and nobody really understood what they were talking about. <laughs> And they had great power. The, the people that had these uh, plants all over the, the states, they, they had great power in Parliament. They were the strong guys. Mm. And nobody really understood if somebody black started saying, I want to be equal. They, it wasn't understood. But now... Yeah, you get it. Uh, by the way, when they even... When they were equal rights, they weren't really equal. 
because still they had black sphere whites there and they had a bit of a party. money. They yeah. didn't let them have money. Yeah. So in Israel, for example, they're going to say, even if you do pass the law that says that, uh, you know, treating custody is going to be equal, uh, you'll still have a law to pass regarding money because you could be equal dad like I am but not regarding money. Regarding money, you have to take all you have, bring it to the mother, and she's the going to be the one to decide, but we'll get Here's to Here's a question people. I'm going to ask you. You have a vision of equal parenting, equal um, child support payments, etc. Yeah. Um, can you envisage a day when women lose their bank accounts, their driving licenses, if they fail to pay their proportion? Uh, yeah. You can yeah. see that I day? I can see that. I think... I think I think we don't have to support people that don't support their own kids. Uh, I mean, if it doesn't, it has, it, it, if it's a dad or a mom, and he doesn't support his kids, and he doesn't have them with him, with her, tough luck. Mm. You don't have them, you're going to have to pay your uh, husband for it, because he's taking care of them, the only he's on, you know, he's taking care of them. So that's the way it is, you're going to have to pay to your husband, to your former ex-husband, so he can take care of your children if you don't want to participate in it. No, but I mean, you've given me a great story today, just for example about the power, um, where 10 minutes walk you had to hire a car, <laughs> to, because that was the conduct, you know, this is a kind of crazy power that happened. You have a women's group, a very large women's group, uh, over in Israel as well, a very big group, very similar to yours. Do they lobby just as hard in the government for their maintaining their rights? They, they don't have to lobby too much as no, hard they as uh, we do, because they have everything they want. <laughs> are they lobbying against you pushing for uh, these things? They're, they of course are, but I think it's uh, more of a disinformation because uh, I spoke to them, and we were on TV, by the way, you know, a few days ago. National and, TV. Uh, and... Um, they, I think we can come into agreement, they can't say it out loud, but they understand what we're talking about. We're really caring for the kids themselves. We're not, you know, totally pro-dad or, you know, against moms. We're against, we, we're, we're against a discriminating uh, situation, mm. okay? And uh, as I said, as a child comes from, from school, he can come to his dad, he can come to his mom. You don't have to go just to mom and the dad has to wait outside. Please let them come down. Mm. This just gets the kids into greater trouble. And once you have this uh, new law in where both parents are equal, a child can come to his father just like he can come to his mother. We it doesn't have to be in the, in the conflict inside. And they want that power. They want that power to stay so they can, whenever they want, okay, hurt the dad and the child. And we don't want that. We, we want that free. We what, want what percentage free. of your dads are paying mezzanot? Uh, what percentage of dads do pay their child support in your group? Is it high? I think it is, yeah. yeah. I think most, 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 most fathers pay it, although they disagree with it, okay? Because uh, the thing is that even if fathers pay it, mothers don't always give it to their children. So they get the money, they use it. It's like, a, it's, like a, it's their employment, being divorced. Yeah, no, they have a nice salary, uh, and then tell the father you want that. Why don't you pay for it as well? What percentage as well is it? High percentage of salary that men are paying? I I've heard it's, it's very hundred. high. It's extremely high. I think that for two, two children, you pay around about four thousand shekels, five thousand shekels. I paid like for two children five thousand five hundred. That's a lot, a lot of money. That's about one no. Two thousand dollars, one thousand five hundred dollars, you know, somewhere in between, and uh, that's high. That's very, very high, and uh, you have to pay for your child again because if the mother doesn't use the money, then you have to pay for him. Then you have to do it again. I've been, again. I've been yeah. in that situation myself. So now we have thirty-seven percent of people in poverty. Official figures: thirty-seven percent in poverty. Um, of that, a lot of people earning five, six thousand shekel a month take home. So they just How are they managing? They, they're not managing at all. They're not managing. They live with the parents. They they don't have. Even if you try to convince them, what I do here, I do a lot of empowerment to, to to dads and try to get them back and believing in themselves as parents and believing in themselves that they can be parents of the child, although they lost custody and things like that, and although they're they're withdrawn out of their houses and away from their children. Somehow to believe that you can still, you know, keep yourself as a, as a human being, but the situation is very bad. The situation is that people just don't have enough money to 
to live. So even if their child needs to come to their house to sleep, they don't have anywhere to put their child. You're just, losing men. And you're losing they just, just, men. Just, they don't know what, I mean, I tell them, why don't you let their child, your child go sleep at your place? But I don't have a place. What are you talking about? I come to my parents, then I'm with my brothers, then I'm my sisters. I have nowhere to go. Suicide, so, the suicide, I, I know in Geneva it was mentioned the suicide rate of divorcing dads is really high. I, yeah, I mean, but some of them are, even if they weren't, they're like dead men, you know, they're, 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 they, might, they might be walking around and they just don't believe in anything anymore because when you get, uh, the thing is that in Israel uh, there are a lot of cases in which dads first have run away because there's, there's uh, you know, the woman kind of, uh, it's part of divorce here. They just uh, complain or uh, file to, to the police and the next thing that happens is people are thrown away from their own uh, children. They don't get to see them for two weeks, for a month. And then they just lose hope. They just don't know what they're going to do. I mean, just imagine not seeing your kids for two weeks. I don't know what I would have done in such a case, but I have been in a similar case almost. But um, the thing is, people really lose hope. And we're going to give them hope. I believe that yeah. things are moving. You can see it. it's every every day, every two days. It's on the news. It's going to move. I'm hoping so. Your colleague, Mr. Kish, you said from the Knesset, he was great, by the way, last week in the demonstration protest. I spoke to him afterwards and said that we'd been from the CCF to the UN for dads and family rights. And he was pleased. And he said we should keep doing it. We should keep talking outside so that people outside can understand and start to support instead of thinking it's all perfect. It isn't perfect. That's why we have, by the way, the law that we're trying to pass uh, regarding custody is talking about the rights of a child. Israel signed that treaty and it has to pass that law because it signed the treaty, okay? The situ this discriminating uh, situation here just won't go on. We've waited 25 years for that treaty to be endorsed. So it will be endorsed, there's no doubt about it. I don't have any doubt about it. I, I believe that uh, Fathers are really getting up and believing in themselves now, and um, they, they're supporting each other. We're supporting them, and we, we'll get through. I'm I, sure, I think I'm sure you're it's great. I love Alex Saba, by the way, and uh, your leader, your character. He's just about to get married, and maybe he'll be a new dad one day. Yeah. And then, yes. but he knows the rules now, so he's not going to make the same mistakes again, is he? So well, I know I got married as well, and I had uh, we had a very special. Uh, a uh, contract and it had to be approved by court before, yeah. Because, <laughs> you don't but, look dead big but, 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 but I have to tell you that when I met my, my wife, I said, listen, I want to have a child. I don't have a child of my own. And I, and I said, so if you're not into it, then we, we, we shouldn't be together. I mean, it's just a waste of time. And so, you know what, I have to tell you something. I have two children and not my custody. So wherever my ex-wife is moving, we're going to move like a few blocks away. You have to just, you have to say okay to that if you want to continue with me. And she did. So by the way, she said okay, yeah, and uh, and we married only a year after that. But thing is that I I want to you know joint custody anyway. So you've got joint custody of your new daughter. It's very no. This thought the daughter is, is is ours, but right. But I mean, did you sign any contracts from, for this for for this daughter? Have you? No, yeah, we have a contract. Yeah, uh, just in case of emergencies. Just in case of emergencies. <laughs> <laughs> so the romance and the love isn't quite the same second time round. No, I think Father's it's better. Love. I think it's yeah. better. Yeah. So she can't take this one and charge you thousands of dollars. No, we we have a contract saying she'll pay me how many. I'll pay her how many. And oh, now this is the way that people should do it in Israel yeah, now, don't yeah, you think? Yeah. Um, and also a little bit away from the rabbinut and how the uh, family laws can sometimes twist. I think you're doing a great job. I'm going to keep pushing it out there as well, by the way, with the UN and all the people outside for dads. Very good. Thanks ever so much.